Hey guys, so today's the 21st and it's Saturday and today is a new beginning of a new crafty week. So I decided to stitch a little bit. I actually really miss this project. This is my Joy Sunday as you can see and I haven't been stitching this for a whole week. But unfortunately today I didn't have a lot of time to stitch because at home we started packing some things before we left. I'm actually at my mom's house right now and well soon enough, I'm sorry my puppy is here. Um, so I'm at my mom's house right now and soon enough we'll be moving here like in a week or two. So I need to find a little spot to film but um, I actually didn't stitch too much of this just a little bit of this uh, grayish color like this bright not bright but like light gray and a tiny bit of the white so there's a lot to go here but it's a really nice project i really enjoy it i really really want to see how it will come up and how it will be stitched because well i've never finished a joy sunday because well you know i had not a very good I'm sorry my puppy is going crazy here i had not a very good experience with <laughs> joy sunday kids just because i always bought the 11 count and this is the 14 count so this is much much better and i love the thread the thread that you get with these kids and like all together from aliexpress are amazing beautiful threads they're really shiny they're really well behaved so i really recommend to try even ordering threads from them um <laughs> she's biting me she's biting me i'm sorry the location is kind of off but that's what i have for now anyways i actually i sorry my i had to get her out of the room because she wouldn't let me film anyways i what was i talking about i actually ordered thread from aliexpress before for like projects that i do and i have um this whole bundle of threads that's coming to me for another project that i'm planning on doing and really really beautiful design but i will keep it for now for myself anyways um, at my mom's house, there's actually a lot of thread that I haven't used, like this, for example. I don't know how to show this to you. This is silk. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is silk thread. It's so shiny. I used to, um, I wanted to stitch this heaven and earth ones that had a beautiful bouquet and for some reason i haven't started it i never started it so maybe one day i will so this is a whole kit as you can see a lot of thread and it's silk can you see the difference how shiny it is it's silk it's really beautiful the thread is amazing they actually sell silk kit threads like silk thread in kits <laughs> you can actually choose um, kit with normal regular uh, cotton thread or you can choose silk thread so it's amazing now one more thing that I actually got uh, for a project that I am doing and I will show you in a second okay so a second <laughs> Um, do you remember the thread that I ran out of in my long stitch project? Well, it came. It actually came and there it is. This is what they sent me. Sorry, my hands. I actually touched a um, broken thing, but um, it actually came. <laughs> really they sent abroad a tiny little envelope it wasn't even an envelope envelope it was t like a tiny little box and inside it was inside this is really funny to send one thread hopefully it will be enough because if it won't be enough i don't know what i what i'll do i will not be writing to them anymore um anyways yeah funny funny but this is something that I wished I could have stitched a little longer today. I really enjoy what is happening over here. But 
we are going home. We already eaten dinner and now we need to drive back home. It's only like 15 minute drive. It's a near town, but well, well, I'll need to give it up until next weekend. But I have quite a lot to stitch at home, so <laughs> anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, yeah, tomorrow definitely because tomorrow is Sunday. It's the beginning of a new week and I will start stitching tomorrow. So, um, start stitching. I will start stitching today, tonight, but <laughs> I'll keep stitching tomorrow and it will be the next day of my new crafty week. <laughs> Anyways, if you have a new name to offer me, not like a crafty week, I don't know why why I called it crafty week. Um, just didn't have another name. Well, I'm not an American, so I don't have um, vocabulary that allows me to, you know, invent words. But if you have an idea for a name for these videos, I would love to hear that and maybe use one of these, one of your suggestions. So I will see you tomorrow and please write to me and give me name suggestions, suggestions <laughs> for these weeks, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is the 22nd and it's 8.15 at night or evening so I am going to show you something really really cute and later I will show you something that I'm going to do next so I have finished her and I'm so happy and I had so much trouble putting this together because I had trouble reading the instructions uh, just because it's written in Russian and Ukraine I think or how do you say it and I am not reading Russian very well though I am Russian um, I am born in Moldova but um, I do not read Russian because I live in his Israel since I was six years old so all the Russian I know and I know pretty good Russian is just from um, you know from my own learning experiences so I do not read instructions very well so I have uh, done whatever I thought that was right just by looking at the um, images in the inst instruction <laughs> and that was a little difficult for me to do but I did manage it hopefully it was good enough uh, I'm not so I'm not really like fully um, you know content with what I have but that will be enough I think for now so let me show you um, what happened before I show you the final um, you know the final <laughs> I want to show you what happened a few days ago just before I started coming to the end and just before I started this little area with the bow um, an accident happened with my threads because my puppy actually got somehow on the couch and she chewed on my threads so I have this now this is what happened um, thank God the the pink threads were whole so I did use only pinks for the bow so I didn't need all that though a couple of places I did need to pull threads from here but it was basically impossible to open and look how it looks it totally chewed um well I was really really mad but thank you that I was nearing the end so I didn't really need that much thread but that was really annoying so that's what's happened and I did add this and this well I've showed you before these are DMC threads the threads that I ran out of so that this kit ended very sadly but I did finish her and now I can give it her as a gift so let me show you what I have and ta -da! <laughs> look how beautiful she is actually I did skip skip uh, one uh, step I did not do backstitch on the puppy itself there's a lot of backstitch on this uh, chart I, I won't show you the 
whole chart, but the entire chart is full of backstitch. And I actually started doing backstitch on her mustache and I went up to her bangs, but I really didn't like how it was coming and I decided to take it out and just leave it like this. Um, this is how it looks like. It's just a little, um, you know, frame, wooden frame. I think it looks really, really fun. I stitched it up. I had a lot of trouble doing it and, you know, realizing how to stretch the fabric enough. So this is what I have. Can you see my couch is full of little threads? Uh, this is the back. Um, I think I could have done a little better because when I cut this, it still has a little fabric that I cannot cut. And, well, I don't know, maybe I'll think of something, but, well, it's how it looks right now. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it as a gift. Actually, in this kit was supposed to be this little plastic thingy that goes on the top that you're supposed to stitch in and then you're just hanging on a wall. But, I don't know, I cannot find it. I don't think I had it in my kit. So, well, they'll have to just put it like this or just invent something to hang it up so hopefully they will like it she is the exact copy of their little puppy kana and <laughs> she's so cute i'm so happy that i finished her so i am going to put her aside safely so my puppy will not touch her and i'm going to start a new project today uh well maybe not start stitching but maybe start just you know looking at it and we'll see what's in the kit I will show you um, I think that I'll make um, a separate video as um, you know a whole process video like from the start till the end besides this one just to show you the whole process from the moment I start the kit, I open it up, and until the moment I finish her and get a full, uh, you know, finished project. So this is an idea that I have, and I will come back soon and I will show you what I have. Hopefully I'll be able to do it today because um, it's already 8.30 and my husband will be home soon, so... I don't know if I'll be able to film a lot tonight, but tomorrow I have a day off, so I will definitely film something interesting for you. So, um, yeah, I'm so happy for her. She's so cute. I did wash her just a tiny bit, just a little bit of water because she was kind of clean. The threads are amazing looking. It's really colorful. Well, from the close, you know, close up never does good for, to cross stitch unless it's really really uh, low count but from the you know the far she actually looks like a real puppy I think yeah I think they will love it and I love it and yeah I really enjoyed this kit though I had some problems with it anyways I'll see you a little bit later so yep here we go again um, I've already filmed a video today about this kit and you will definitely be seeing it uh, one day, not in a couple of weeks, not until I finish this, but this is my, fir my first, my next start after my Yorkie. I've already opened it, I've already filmed a start review and I will have a video come out when I finish this and when I frame it. Uh, from beginning till end but now I will just run with you through this kit just to show you what it is this is also Nova Sloboda just like the Yorkie it's 19 over 26 centimeters it's called retro lilas and it's also Aurora 120 it has 27 colors on 16 count printed Aida so it's a really beautiful retro kit it's an easy stitch as I saw on the chart you can see the start the chart it's not difficult to stitch and I decided to go a little different this time stitching this because I never went uh, stitching from the middle so yeah um, inside this kit we have the frame beautiful frame it's kind of lacy 
it has instructions, it has the entire uh, kit for the frame, and it's a good thing that it has uh, English instructions I can read because I'm not reading Russian very well, and um, I will be able to read English a lot better, so it will be interesting. Um, anyways, this is the kit, I've already started, well, I haven't started, but I already framed it on my uh, little frame, little uh, hoop, not frame. Okay, so these are the threads. Can you see the threads? How beautiful they are. They're so silky. It's the same thread that was in the uh, Yorkie kit, and I really, really loved it. Though my puppy destroyed it <laughs> eventually, but this one will be safe. It has beautiful colors and beautiful threads, and I love it. Um, the printed canvas, for some reason I decided to start from the middle just so I will be sure that I will go the right way. So the middle is somewhere around here, so I will be starting in the middle. And the chart is colorful and very, very easy. So I don't think it will take me a very long time to stitch. I don't believe that. Though I will be kind of busy for the next couple of days because we are moving on Friday, but I still think that it will be very easy and very fast project. So hopefully it will go well and hopefully I'll enjoy it just as much as I think I will. Um, so for now I'm going to start and I will update you tomorrow if I'll have something stitched and show you how it goes. Hey guys, today's the 23rd and it's already 6.30. I just sat down and decided to stitch because I am tired. Actually, I wasn't working today. I, I have this thing going on in my uh, work life. <laughs> um, we don't have enough work for two people, so I'm taking a half... Um, I don't know how you call it in English, but I'm taking off my hours, so I will be working three times a day, meaning I will have a lot of three times a day, three times a week, sorry. <laughs> so meaning I will have a lot more free time. I don't know what I will do. Maybe I'll look for another job or maybe I will just take the chance to work on my YouTube and work on my stitching. We'll see. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. For now, I am packing. So I was pack packing the whole day. Um, I don't know if I should show you, but this is how my house looking. It's like a big mess. Um, anyways, I have been packing until now. Now I have a little time, well not a little time, I decided to take the rest of the day off. We'll see, maybe when my hubby will come home I will um, have him help me take some stuff out. Um, actually, I am throwing so much. I have thrown more than half of my closet, stuff that were in boxes still from the time we moved and then moved again. Like clothes I haven't worn for years. Um, his stuff that were really, really old, and I want to get him new clothes because he never buys himself clothes. Uh, a lot of um, home stuff, a lot of stuff that we didn't need and we had lying around the house. So, because we are moving to my mom's house, um, I don't want to take a lot of stuff that I really don't need. So I will be taking only the things that I use, only things that I need. Um, the shoes that I wear, the shoes that I don't wear, I will throw away. Well, maybe not throw away, but put out for somebody to take. Um, well, basically, I am cleaning out everything that I have. Um, so now I decided to sit down and stitch, like I said, and I am thinking of my Chimera. I actually wanted to stitch it for a couple of days now. <laughs> I don't know why I have this urge for my Chimera. Maybe because I was watching this Russian girl who started stitching Chimera and it's coming so fast. And it seems like I am not even moving with my project. Maybe because I have too many and she only stitches one. I have no idea. But... Today I will definitely sit down to do this. Um, I actually got this idea from a viewer from my Russian channel. Uh, she wrote me, um, messaged me, and she said that she loves watching my videos, yada yada yada. Thank you very much. Uh, but 
uh, she advises me to put images of the projects that I'm stitching like in the beginning uh, of the video just so you I can remind you how it's supposed to look eventually I think it's a very good idea so I will try and um, put pictures maybe a small image of a project that I'm making in the top of this um, video so every time I show the project I will show you the final outcome how it's supposed to look so you won't forget what I'm stitching <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea I would love to hear from you if you would like to um, you know to see that or maybe it will be not necessary for my English channel just because views are different and people want to see different things so I decided to uh, do this and I would love to hear your input on that um, that's about it actually I don't know how I will be able to stitch and how much I will be able to stitch for the next couple of days um, I still have to find a place to stitch at my mom's house just because she likes darkness her house is very dark and I will need to install <laughs> like bright lamps all over the place just because I do not like darkness plus I need to stitch and I need a lot of light so she will need to start turning on the lights <laughs> but um, I will need to find a spot when I can film comfortably and I'm not sure how to do that because when I living alone I spend a lot of time alone in my house so doing that I have a lot of free time and nobody is interrupting me and I can film and talk however and how long as I want um, being in a house with my mom who is not working course she's on a pension and of course she will be there all the time so I will need to find a spot so I can film for you that will be uh, comfortable enough for me and for you to watch uh, we'll see it will be interesting so I don't know how I will do that we'll see um, anyways I'm going to stitch now and hopefully I will be able to turn on a little bit later and show you what I have done hey guys it's 9 30 already it's kind of late um, my husband is on his way home and I've been sitting quite a bit uh, stitching this um, I've tried filling up this little area it's kind of difficult because um, there was a lot of singles a lot of singles just because I don't go all the way up um, I am left with a couple of single crosses over here so it's not much different than heaven and earth design they are not that big but they are m not less in any way I mean they're as beautiful and they are as complicated so they don't have 90 colors but they definitely have a lot of work and I have decided to go into the little circle so I've started I don't know if you'll be able to see that I've started with the lighter colors um, just decided to try and fill up a little area inside the circle just to see how it's coming out um, I don't remember how it's supposed to look so I will insert this will be the first try I will insert a picture of how it's supposed to look up in the upper corner some of them I don't know look for it and we'll see if it's coming out the way it's supposed to so um, yeah I am going to make some pizza right now and um, we'll see maybe I'll stitch something else a little bit later or maybe I'll take the chance and do a little bit of diamond painting later on tonight just because it's my last couple of days with my dining room table which I am in love with um, I like I said I've sold it so um, anyways we'll see how it comes um, and what I would love to, what I would like to do a little bit later so it will be of course choice between diamond painting and cross stitch obviously okay so I will see you tomorrow Hey guys, so today is the 24th and it's already 9.20 if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, I've actually have been stitching a tiny bit of my retro uh, lilacs today but I just made a couple of stitches and then I decided to just sit down and do a little diamond painting because I don't feel like you know watching um, my chart I don't know why I just feel like I'm in this mood and I was wanting to uh, do a little work on my favorite dining room table I know it looks crazy look at this well we are packing a lot of work still left to do but this is is going to be sold tomorrow tomorrow they will come and take it out of this house and it will belong to somebody else so it's my last chance to work on it I really really like this uh, dining room table and all together this dining set with the chairs and everything I really it was one of my favorite pieces in this in my you know house or in my between my furniture I don't know how to say this right so I decided to sit down do a little diamond painting tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow because I have a day, another day off tomorrow. I, today I was working and tomorrow I have another day off. So um, <clears throat> I will be able to keep packing. I have a lot of work to do tomorrow, a lot of packing, a lot of throwing away stuff. So yeah, hopefully it will go well. And today I just will update you a little bit of how it goes. Beautiful design, beautiful work, amazing stones. Like you already, I guess you know, I do link the um, site I got it from downstairs. And I have a coupon code for you for 10% off if you want to use it and buy your own kit. So I will be doing this for the rest of the evening. My hubby will come home soon, so he will uh, probably want to eat something. Um, tomorrow my fridge is going to, so I will need to clean that out tomorrow. I hardly have anything in there left, so we're kind of feeding on like junk food right now um and that's about it so um hopefully i'll be able to rest tomorrow and sit down and stitch and do some um relaxation cross stitch and hopefully it will go well and i'll be able to do enough work and pack enough stuff so i won't be left doing it at the end of um day after tomorrow because I am working the day after tomorrow I'm thinking uh, we'll see if I will have a lot of work left to do maybe I'll take a day off again so my working experience lately is being really bad anyways I'll get to it here's my setup I still keep it in this little box I do have uh, my um, store beading storage solutions I think it's called I have cleaned it out and I ha will be using it for a very large project that I'm planning but for now I actually got it cleaned and I will take it to my mom's house and this project I will keep like this this is very comfortable all the bags are numbered and they are sitting in there by numbers I don't really use this uh, this I use to uh, fix mistakes and stuff so um, anyways let me get to work and I will see you tomorrow hey guys so today is the 25th I guess yeah um, and I have I've actually stitched this already I just wanted to show you an update where I stopped just because I was packing like till four o'clock in the afternoon and I got really really tired so I decided to sit down and stitch and for some reason I had the urge to film <laughs> so I filmed a tag so I did stitch this and I filmed a tag doing that so I didn't start filming my crafty week uh, right away I just started you know with the tag and right now I just wanted to update you on where I stopped just because 
I haven't showed you. Um, I do pick this up quite, um, well, not as often as I would like. I really do like this project, and you do know I keep saying it, that I am in love with this project, but I'm not doing it as often as I would like. Um, just because I have too many projects going on and I'm in love with all of them and they all are beautiful and I really really want to stitch everything in the same time but I don't have enough hands so I just you know pick one up every day and stitch a little bit from everything just to not get tired of one of them so um, yeah so I did stitch this a little bit today I don't know how much I will be able to stitch today just because well I still need to pack quite a lot and I need to walk the puppy and I did um, empty out my fridge and I disconnected it just because tomorrow people will come and pick it up I sold it too and uh, yeah so having fun with the packing um, not so much <laughs> That's a really, really difficult job. I, well, it seems like what do you have to do? Just take stuff out of your closet or out of your drawers, drawers and just put them in boxes. But no, oh my God, it's taking days over days over days and it's not ending. I mean, I keep finding stuff that I don't even know that I have. So yeah, it's a very hard job moving even if it seems like you don't have a lot of things you have a lot of things so Yeah, I will go rest a little bit more and in like half an hour. I will be um, Doing some more job. I need to clean up my kitty's uh, toilet <laughs> sorry for the information, but yeah because tonight we're taking him to my mom's house um, just for him not to be scared when we are going to move the puppy is staying with me for now I don't want her to feel um, overwhelmed with the animals just because she's not a dog person I hopefully she won't have a problem with the dog she does love uh, animals dogs cats but she always lived with cats so she has no problem with my cat but the puppy, I prefer to be there with her just so she won't get mad at her. <laughs> because she will definitely pee and poo at home and my mom is a cleaning freak. So, um, yeah. Um, so tonight we'll take the cat over to my mom's house with his food and his toilet and stuff. And yeah, hopefully he'll get a little used to that house. Um, he did live there for the first couple of months of his life until I moved in with my husband. Back then he was still my boyfriend, but yeah. Um, and I don't think he remembers that because he's a kind of a weird cat. He is a Maine Coon. But he has a really strange um, behavior type. He's kind of scared of everything. He's a little weird. So um, I just want him to get comfortable there and feel a little more at home when we do get there on Friday. So hopefully everything will end up being fine tonight. People didn't come and pick up my dining room just because they had to they didn't have the truck to do it with so tomorrow they will definitely come and pick it up so tomorrow i will take another day off and i will keep keep packing i i need to because i will not be able to do it if i'll go to work tomorrow and um i'll have a couple of hours to, to go so that's uh, not a good idea and my husband is not doing anything uh, you know very much <laughs> of anything just because he's working most of the day he goes to work uh, in the morning and he comes home later in the evening so um, it all fell on me all right like always the women are the leaders of the pack <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully that will be enough information for today. Um, I will try to stitch a little bit tomorrow, take a little time off. Hopefully I'll be able to do that because it does relax me. And look, I do enjoy it. <laughs> so, yeah, 
I will go rest a little bit. I don't think I'll be stitching anymore today, but I want some peace and quiet, maybe watch some TV and not do anything at all. So I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully after the move, um, I will be able to comfortably keep filming. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, today is the 26th and actually I am going to do um, this. Today will be the last day of my crafty week um, just because tomorrow morning we're moving so I'm not sure, oh, I'm not sure, I'm sure that I won't be able to stitch tomorrow and I will not have any time to film. So today I want to finish my filming and I want to um, upload the video tomorrow. I will upload it into, you know, YouTube and let it pinned <laughs> until tomorrow and then tomorrow you'll be able to see it. Um, but today, um, I actually stayed at home. I had a lot of packing to do and I actually don't have any more boxes. So I am taking a break and I decided to do a little diamond painting. I'm going to show you something very scary. Look at this. Look how my house looks. Oh my gosh. Shoe boxes, boxes, everything. My fridge is going. Um, I actually washed it. You see? Oh my god, it's such a mess. Sorry for the... Um, this is actually going today to a new owner. This is my cat's um, stand, so... Um, I still have a lot to do. My puppy. But uh, right now I am going to sit down and stitch for a little bit and just relax and wait to my, until my husband will come home and bring some boxes and I guess we'll have to uh, pack tonight. So I'm sure that we will make it. Anyways, tomorrow will be a very difficult day. And today I actually finished this little part and you can really already see the elephant elephant <laughs> the elephant his legs and his uh, snout how do, how do you call that the elephant nose <laughs> um, so yeah I think it's beautiful and it's really really shiny look at this look how shiny it is amazing project I really really love it um, alright so I'm going to go stitch I think I'm going to stitch my Himera for a little while um, feel like a Himera and my tablet actually um, my battery is full so I can do that um, and I will update you a little bit later and show you how much I have done hopefully I'll be able to stitch quite a bit because I am going to relax today <laughs> Okay, so I'll see you later. Hey guys, so it's 6... 6... <laughs> it's 6.51. Or maybe even 2 now. And, yep, this will be my last um, update from this house. I feel like, um, like I'm on TV. <laughs> this, this is going to be my last update on my cross stitch on my diamond painting on anything um, from this apartment because I am already done stitching for tonight I think I need to keep working on packing and stuff so I really do need to uh, get back to work because it's already late and I still have a couple of things to do um, I don't have boxes yet my husband's supposed to bring boxes when he comes home but that will be later in the evening, maybe even about 10 o'clock at night. So I will um, have a lot of work to do. Um, I had a lot of free time to stitch today just because I didn't have my boxes and I didn't have where to put stuff. But I don't have that much left to do. Um, we will... We, we did throw out a lot of things, most of my belongings, uh, a lot of older clothes, um, a lot of things that we didn't use and well, that we actually never used and they were just in my closet or in my storage room or whatever. 
um, anyways everything is out um, yeah so we are done almost done like 85% done I'm sure that we will manage to pick everything else up uh, by the middle of the night <laughs> hopefully sooner but yeah I did stitch quite a bit today I actually was kind of surprised I was trying to I really want to see what's inside these circles like cross stitch wise just to get an idea of what's coming so I am stitching this area actually um, it's not easy because well there's not a lot of singles but they're like maybe 10 crosses from each color maybe 12 maybe 20 um, not too many maybe that's because I'm not going all the way up there as you can see I kind of marked a piece of the fabric too this is a washable marker so I actually am trusting this because the places where that I marked before well, it's coming off for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of fading away. So that's not scaring me at all that it's blue. Also, the coverage is pretty good. It's very good, actually. So you cannot see the lines. So that's fine. Um, anyways, this is what I have done today. I did go a little up, a little to the sides, but not too much. You, mostly in this little area I think it's supposed to be like flowers or something kind of a flower I'm not really sure I don't remember exactly but I'll try to insert a picture of the oh sorry my movie I'm watching some I was watching some weird movie um, anyways um, let's see what we have by the chart you see this is where I stopped I actually have oh sorry I did not do this all right let's lock it um, I actually have just a couple oh, come on just a couple of them can you see I don't know if you can call it singles but they're pretty spread out and there are just a few crosses from this color in this area so I don't know it's kind of annoying to change colors all the time but also it's kind of interesting I really like a lot of colors in a piece so let's see how much I've done today and yes it's actually it's the biggest amount of stitching I have done until today as weird as it might be because today is my busy busy my busiest day but I have done 501 crosses can you imagine I mean it's crazy to, just today the day that I'm supposed to be packing and I'm not supposed to be stitching at all I have stitched the most the most cross stitches I've ever done in this piece so I guess I really am enjoying this I really am enjoying this actually so um, okay so I have a phone call and I will see you next crafty week um, I'm sorry I think you can hear the vibration of my phone <laughs> but um, I will see you next crafty week I think I will start filming on Saturday because uh, tomorrow I won't be able to stitch that's for sure we'll have a lot of unpacking to do plus we have a lot of cleaning plus we need to come back here and do some cleaning around the house here because the floors are dirty and we need to fix some stuff that we have well our dog have destroyed when he was here so yeah so uh, wish me luck with the move and I will see you soon and hopefully you'll enjoy this video and hopefully you will enjoy the videos that will come between my crafty weeks because I am planning some stitch alongs and a tag. So we'll see you soon. Have fun. Have a great weekend. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me thumbs up and write some comments. I'm really, really excited when I see you writing comments. I'll see you soon.